Now, I'm very excited, thrilled would be an understatement, um, because I would like to introduce you Brighton Band Abs and Eve. Woo! Woo! Oh, yes, it's Radio 2, don't you know? It's live music. Now, uh, interesting story as to why the band are here. Um, a few months ago, I played a track called Lom. Uh, my producer, Janet, said, uh, she slipped into the playlist and she said, I think you're really going to like this. And I sort of fell in love with the track. And there's an, an EP, and I've been listening to it quite a lot. And I just thought, you're perfect to have in. So um, here you are. And we've got... Uh, Eva Rose on lead Hello. vocals, acoustic guitar. Uh, we've got Francine Perry on drums, guitar and vocals. Hello. Yeah, I love a drummer, said the former drummer. <laughs> Lindsay uh, Oliver on double bass and vocals. Hello. Tim Cottrell on violin and vocals. Hi. Hi. And uh, I, listen, I've been waiting all my life to introduce a man called Gar Rock. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Gar Rock. How's it going? Hey, good to see you. Now, um, Eva, you and Francine started the group. What brought you together? We did. Um, but Two years ago now, uh, we went to Sixth Form College together. We were in the same film studies class, weren't we? And then I kept asking Fran to, want, wanting to ask Fran to be in the band, and she kept wanting to ask me, and then eventually we did it. And oh, then it's like a musical been romance. been beautiful since then. <laughs> um, it's quite interesting that, because uh, it's not often these days you have um, women putting bands together. It seems very much still to be kind of what boys do. There's too many men. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose so. I think there is a lot more male um, bands in the UK in general, so it's nice to be fronting the women. Um, and I was interested in your sound because it, I love folk and kind of alt folk particularly. It's a, a big kind of passion of mine. But th there's something more. I, I'm kind of I, I, the word gypsy, kind of that kind of travelling music. That kind of there's a, a momentum to what you do. There's kind of accordions and stuff in kind of a folk and kind of a kind of wider tradition uh, where where do you get your influence from um well artists i think we're influenced by like loads of different ones i love nick drake and devanja banhart and love listening to like eastern european music as well that's uh, what i love as well and i love classical music and all sorts kind of i'd say we are a mix of loads of different types of things so. and obviously very early iron maiden um and <laughs> that was a joke unless of course you're the manager of mine iron maiden i'm free for summer bookings. Um, now, your uh, EP's called Dionysus, isn't it? Yeah, Dionysus. Why? Um, well, he represented, he was a Greek god of wine, fertility, madness, and ecstasy, and it's uh, kind of about the person that the, the song was about. It was a bit mad. <laughs> a bit mad. Um, and your first track uh, is uh, Creatures of the Sea. It is. So I suggest, I'm thrilled, to ask Apples and Eve to play Creatures of the Sea. <laughs> Down to the ground, I am heading down 
it dragging me down I don't know about you, but I love Radio 2. Thank you very much. That was very beautiful. Apples and Eve will return for another song at the end of the programme. I'm back with Apples and Eve. There's been a lot of love for what you do, and who can blame them? Um, what have you got coming up? Gigging down in Brighton? Uh, we're gigging on the 15th of June at Green Door Store, and again on the 9th of August, and we're doing um, the Meadowlands Festival next weekend, which lovely, should be lovely. really good fun. Now, interestingly, your dad, I was speaking to your dad um, uh, over uh, over the that song, and uh, he's a, a singer, songwriter, and performer, and we're talking about your voice, and... You've, your voice seems to connect directly with your passion and what you do. It's quite a rare thing to hear. Are you aware of that? Oh, no, I haven't been aware of that before, but that's exciting, I suppose. It's always a good thing. You're aware um, of that. And if we had more time, we could talk about how you managed to get your hair to stand up like that in a dramatic <laughs> fashion. Obviously, I've got, you know, I'm not in the strongest position to pass judgment on anyone else's hair, but I'm liking what you do. I'm liking what you do. You get me now. Boom, gangster. Um, next song, Night Ghosts. Tell me a little about that. Um, well, it's all about really when you're trying to get to sleep at night and all the things that you have to think about in the day are worrying you and they keep you up. Well, can I just say what an unbridled pleasure it has to it's been to have you here. I'm, I'm loving what you do. Um, will you then give us Night Ghosts? Yeah, thank you so much for having us. <clears throat> the pleasure's been ours. Ducks cease to bark and the wind whistles through the trees The night goes awaken with their memories
Wow. I'm just going to do that. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming in. I'm very much looking forward to seeing you live again. Um, that's what Radio 2 is all about.